Hi, I'm James with TheOneHourSmartHome.com and today we are going to show you another way to add a common wire to your Nest thermostat. If you're having low power issues, you're having battery issues, or not enough voltage to your Nest thermostat, adding a common wire can fix the issue. So we're going to show that. We've got a couple different methods and a couple different videos that show you how to do this but we have not shown you this method yet. This is probably one of the simplest hacks to add a common wire to your Nest thermostat. So what we do in this video is we show you how you can use one of the other wires as a common wire. The only disadvantage is that you're gonna lose fan control. So if you just wanna circulate air with your Nest thermostat, you won't be able to do it. So you can watch one of the other videos we have, which we'll put a link below, that allows you to maintain the fan control of your Nest thermostat. Now, you really don't need the fan control unless you just want to circulate air without having AC or heat on at the same time, which in my opinion, you could just open up the windows if it's a nice day. And if it's not a nice day, you're probably going to have either your AC on or your heat on. So I don't see it as that much of a disadvantage. So whenever you do this, even though you're disconnecting one wire and turning it into a common wire, your heat and air conditioning will still work the same way. It'll automatically turn on the blower even when you don't have a certain wire connected. So we're gonna get right to it. Before you get started, before we do anything, the number one thing I want you to do is you gotta turn the power off before you do this. And then we're gonna show you how we do the wiring and what you need to do for this method to add a common wire. So. Let's get started. I'll zoom in. I'll put it real nice so you can see the wiring and what we're going to do. Make sure you turn the power off first. All right, so now that you've got your power off on your Nest, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to just remove the Nest, okay? So we're just going to pull it off here. It says the power is off. That's all good and dandy. And the next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're just going to go through the wiring. So if you've got uh, wiring like this or you've got a heat pump or any of that stuff this methodology will still work so uh, the white wire w1 that is your heating wire okay that is the relay that goes to turn on your heat the y1 that is your cooling wire that is the relay that goes to turn on your air conditioning the rc or the rh that is your power wire and the g wire that is your fan wire now modern Heating and cooling systems that have a blower motor will automatically turn on the fan even if you don't have the G-wire connected. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the G-wire and we're going to use it as a C-wire, the common wire. And what a common wire does is it allows a return current path from the power, the RC, through the thermostat and back through the C-wire so that the thermostat, the Nest thermostat can charge itself with the C wire. The problem is when you don't have the C wire, sometimes a furnace is not putting enough energy out or your furnace is too sensitive and will not let the Nest thermostat charge with the small amount of current that is going through it. So this RC to C through the Nest thermostat creates a pathway that your thermostat can always be charging even though nothing is on. And I'll just do a little bit of an explanation of some of these other wires so that you understand what they are. So as we said, uh, W1, that is heating. If you have a two-stage system, you're gonna have W1 and W2. All W2 is, is the second stage of heating. So you might have a two-stage heating system. And what a two-stage heating system is, one level is low power, the second level is high power. It's just going to put out more heat. The common wire, as we explained, is the wire that allows your thermostat to have power charging all the time, even when you don't have the thermostat on. The star wire can be used for a variety of different things, but most commonly it is used for connecting a humidifier. The RH or RC wire, they're both used for power. If you have a dual fuel or dual power system, you might have an RC and an RH wire connected. Really, they do the same thing. You can put the red wire in either the RC or the RH. Technically, the RH is for heat power 
and the RC is for cooling power. OB, that is the reversing valve if you have a heat pump that controls the heat pump, reversing valve. And what a reversing valve does is it reverses the flow of coolant from one direction to the other so that you are either heating or cooling with your heat pump. The G wire, all that does is power the blower motor, the fan motor, to blow air throughout your house independently of heating and cooling. When you have heating or cooling, air conditioning or heat called for, the fan motor will automatically go on even if you don't have the G wire connected. That is how modern HVA systems are built. The only purpose of the G wire is if you wanted to control your fan independently to circulate air throughout your house without providing heating or cooling. And in my opinion, and there's gonna be a lot of you that say that, oh, well that's silly, is that if it's a nice day and you just wanna circulate air, open up the windows, get fresh air in your house. There's typically nothing better that, for you than fresh air. So open up the windows and get fresh air. I don't see the G wire as being something that you need. And a lot of you will find that you don't need it either if you choose to add a common wire this way. The Y1 wire is your cooling and the Y2 wire is second stage cooling. Some newer heating and cooling systems have second stage cooling and it's just like the one and two stage heating and cooling for the uh, heat. It's just low power and high power. That's all it is. So now that we've got this open, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna press the G wire down the terminal and we're gonna disconnect that and we're gonna move this G over to the C, okay? All right, we press it down. Now we have our G wire in our C wire and all we have to do is go over to the furnace and make the same connection there. So we're gonna to go to our HVAC system next, make sure the power is off once again, and we're gonna change it over there. Okay, so we're over at the furnace and what we've done is we've taken the cover off. You're all gonna have a cover to your furnace. You just wanna take that off, okay? And the top part, you're not gonna to need to worry about that, but that's where the burners and all that stuff is. Sometimes on uh, some systems, the burner and blower and everything is down below and the controls are up top. But in this case, what we've got is burner and blower up top. Okay, that's the burners. And then what we're looking for is the control board. Okay, and this is the control board. This is where the thermostat wires connect. You can see that brown wire right here that my hand is on. And those go to the terminals inside of your furnace, right? So underneath those terminals, you can probably see there are letters down there. Uh, we've got Y, G, R, C, and W. So all we need to do here is take the G wire, the green wire that is currently on the G terminal right here, and we need to move it over to the C terminal, okay? Where the uh, yellow wire is. And that yellow wire goes up to your cooling system. You're gonna leave it on there, even though you're moving the G wire over there. So you'll have both the G wire and typically your air conditioning return terminal on the C terminal. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how easy this is. I'm just gonna put the camera in a position that can show you what's going on here. There we go. And now I'm just gonna remove this screw right here. I'm just gonna loosen it, okay? You only need a couple turns. And I'm gonna take the G wire out, okay? And now I'm gonna loosen this just a couple turns, maybe a turn or two. I don't want that other wire to fall out, but if it does, I would just put it back in where it's at. And now I'm gonna take the G wire and I'm going to put it up there. Okay, so we've got both those wires in there. I'm gonna tighten the terminal back down. And there I go. I'm all set now. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cover back on the HVAC system. I'm going to put my nest back on the mount. And then I'm gonna turn the power on and we are ready to go with a common wire added to our system. 
Okay, we have the power back on. We have mounted the Nest thermostat. You can see it is turned on. And I'm gonna show you how you know that this was successful. So you're gonna click here. Okay, you're gonna click again. And we're gonna go through to the settings. And I need to scroll by the password information for you before we get there. And you're going to go over to the equipment tab, okay? So once you click on that equipment tab, we're gonna turn this down so you can see this a little bit better. It's going to show you that you've got your cooling, your heating, your common wire, and your power connected, okay? If you were having common wire problems, this should solve your issue, and it is one of the ways that you can add a common wire to your Nest thermostat. We've got another video on how you can add a wire from your furnace to the Nest thermostat. You can actually physically run another one if you're building a new house, you're doing remodeling, you can add the wire or maybe it's close to your furnace. And we also have another methodology that is very simple where all you do is plug in a common wire transformer, which is one of the most popular methodologies because you don't lose the control of the fan if that is important to you. So this shows you how to add a common wire to your nest. And then I'm just gonna show you that this works. Okay. Okay, we'll turn the heat on and you can hear the heat turning on. We don't have any power issues anymore and your Nest thermostat will be working with the common wire installed if that is the issue that you had. So thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Click on any links below to support us and we always appreciate you. Thank you very much and visit us at onehoursmarthome.com.